Okay, so I'm Stephanie Spear, and I'm here with Jeff Latham, and this is our first video for the Becoming a Bride series. Exactly. And since we have our fantastic, amazing celebrity florist here, I wanted a chance to ask him a few fun questions. Yeah. So the first question is, when you're picking a florist, how do you know that they know what they're doing, that they're any good? Are there a few questions that you can ask them to kind of get a sense of them as a florist? I think it's really important off the bat if, you're, if you find someone who doesn't always speak about money and they speak about your personality, they speak about what your wants, what your dream is, what um, you've always, what I always say when I meet with brides is really sit down, close your eyes and tell me what your dreams have been for your wedding. Because even if you're, you know, you're in your 40s like me or you're a young bride, you always have this dream of what your wedding is going to be. And so I think it's really good to have communication with your florist. So first and foremost, rule number one is pick a florist that you have a great communication with. Pick a florist that you can feel like that you have a great friendship with because it's a real process planning a wedding. And pick a florist that you feel like um, really fits into the means of your budget. Because there's a lot of different budget brackets for weddings and um, maybe that's something you don't need to have in your first conversation, but it's a conversation that you know you need to have with your florist and they'll understand your needs. Right, so maybe first ask them the personality thing exactly. to follow up with, okay, can I yes. afford this? Exactly. So speaking and, of affording things, oh yeah. sorry, go ahead. No, okay. and I don't think it's so important. I think a lot of young brides, they go in and they ask, you know, let me see photos of what you've done. Photos of what florists have done in the past, I think that's important, but I think it's important for the bride to speak to their florist and really say to them, after the bride has said to them, um, this is my dreams, and have the florist describe verbally with the passion of their thoughts and their design techniques what they see for their wedding. Mm -hmm. So that's important. So speaking of budget, yes. um, what are some of the tips that you can give for getting the most bang for your buck when it comes to picking flowers? Are there suggestions that you know some flowers are less expensive or? I think, you know, and one thing that's important, and I think we've all seen the revival of kind of inexpensive flowers, so to speak, mm -hmm. turning into chic flowers. Um, in the last three years, I've done so many weddings that are, are baby's breath themed, mm -hmm. which um, really gives a wow effect. You know, and these are brides who are very chic, who are very savvy, um, and really money is no issue, but they've wanted baby's breath, you know. And if you don't mix baby's breath with other types of flowers, it really gives quite a bold statement. Um, I really feel like, you know, when you're looking at budgets, there's nothing wrong with, you know, if you don't have a big budget, with spending a lot of money on candles for a table. You know, and just having a lot of candles and maybe a, f a few flower heads on the table. It's not always about having this like dream billion dollar kind of wedding. Right. Um, it's really, uh, wedding is really important for me. It's not competitive. Um, and I think a lot of brides nowadays, they're, you know, they're having their weddings kind of like it's bar mitzvah, where it's just <laughs> bigger and better and it has to be like, wow, and you walk in and there's flowers everywhere. Um, probably all my florist friends are like, what are you saying? But it's like, for me, really, you don't really have to spend like thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars to make a beautiful wedding. Um, you, like I mentioned, you know, do a table with candles, you know, really sometimes you don't have to use vases. A lot of times when I've done events, I'll do bouquets and I'll just leave them on the table. I think it's nice for your guests when they leave, you know, they take a bouquet home with them and they have the remembrance of the wedding the day after. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of different things that you can do with a lot of budget. That sounds great. Yeah. Last question is, you know, after you've picked your flowers, how do you keep them fresh for longer? Do you have any tricks to the trade for that? Flowers in general or wedding yeah, flowers? flowers? Just flowers yeah. in general. Mm -hmm. I think it's really good to condition your flowers. Mm -hmm. Changing the water in your flowers on a daily basis is important. Um, really cutting your flowers um, every day when you change the water. It's important because it just gives them a new drink. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of old wives tales about putting aspirin in the water, yeah, about putting a nickel or sugar or 7-Up. Um, why not? <laughs> you know, why not? You know, we all have a little like magic inside of us and you know, if, if it works, great. I mean, I've never done that. I've just found that the way to have a really beautiful bouquet and have it last as long as it can is just to change the water and keep the stems cut every day. Lovely. Yeah. Thank you so You're welcome. much. My pleasure. This has been Jeff Latham. I'm Stephanie Spear and this is the Becoming a Bride series for Queen Latifah.com. Thank you.